The bigger problem with Darth Vader is basically getting him to admit that he misses the old days. That if the opportunity presented itself, he would make a do-over, go back and never join Sidious. He basically was double-crossed, hoodwinked, whatever you want to call it. He was fooled by Darth Sidious into joining the Sith. Ultimately, in the end, once he found Luke and once he realized that his family was the thing that was most important, he definitely regretted joining Darth Sidious, forming this false alliance between a master that doesn't care about him. And this is specifically shown in the Darth Vader comic series 2015, where he talks to one of his companions about the glory days of the Clone Wars, where him as Anakin Skywalker had armies that joined him every time he went into battle together with Captain Rex. Those days were now long gone and you can clearly see by the comic panel that you're about to witness in the coming minutes that he definitely regretted what ended up happening. No longer were those days. Back in the day, he had everything at his beck and call. Back when he was a Jedi General as Anakin Skywalker, he had armies of clones at his disposal. More so, these clones had actually befriended Anakin and they were quite literally like brothers in arms. This quickly dissipated once he became Darth Vader and the Galactic Republic reformed into the Empire. He relied much on the 501st when he first started off, but within a decade, he was left all by his lonesome. All he could do now was borrow some stormtroopers for an action or a mission, and this was usually a scheme or an idea composed by an imperial governor like Tarkin or a general like Tage. Vader quite literally felt like he was on a leash, with no army to back him up, like in the good old days during the Clone Wars. And this is how slowly he started reminiscing, reminding himself of of how good he had it. Not as Anakin Skywalker, but how good he had it as a general of an army, all to himself, with no repercussions and no one to answer to. This all began when Vader reluctantly started his secret quest to create his own mini army and by hook or crook, take over the entire empire for himself. But before he went on this quest, back in the day he was pretty naive thinking that Darth Sidious would change his life. And it came to such a time that he needed to use his Anakin Skywalker powers that he learned with Obi-Wan using Animal Connection. The empire was expanding with each passing minute. Now Palpatine had his sights on the planet Mon Cala and he sent Vader to deal with not only King Lee Char, but but his secret Jedi advisor. Vader and his Inquisitors made quick work of every single guard and the Moncala people that tried to protect King Lee Char. But before he could even arrest the king, up above from the Star Destroyers, Tarkin received a strange signal coming from beneath the surface of the planet from the sea. As the Ninth Sister was torturing the king for information, right at that time, monstrous whales came from down below. They were determined to not leave Dak City fall to the Empire, and so their mission was to destroy everything. Now they created tidal waves that engulfed the entire city. The Inquisitors noticed it and warned Darth Vader, who ordered them to form up a shield. A force shield that could hold off the tidal wave, and as much as Darth Vader tried to hold it off with success in the beginning, in the end it was was futile. The whales had created such an enormous force that it ate them whole. Everybody was in danger. Even if Tarkin tried to signal or hear anything from Darth Vader, it was with no success, as Darth Vader was slowly drowning on Moncala. By the grace of the force, he had somehow survived. He ignited his lightsaber, created a force shield again, but his suit was warning him that things were not looking 
anything good. To make matters worse, an octopus looking creature attacked Vader at that moment. Deep within the ocean, this octopus squid monster wrapped its arms around Vader and started to squeeze the Sith Lord. But Vader had one more trick up his sleeve. He used Force Mind Trick. The animal connection that had served him as a Jedi, now he was manipulating the monster to do his own bidding. The squid picked up Vader's lightsaber and gave it to him with no hesitation. And the Empire was quick to come to the rescue of Darth Vader who worked the giant squid to death. Now a ship approached Vader recovering him from the water. Vader came in unscathed and the ninth sister and the other inquisitors were around Vader and it was this frustrating time that they used to brag to Darth Vader. Thinking that they would score points with Darth Vader at this moment. They were glad to see him survive but Vader had only one question. Was the Jedi dead? The dumbfounded inquisitors just stood around not knowing how to answer that realizing the mistake that they had done they said no not yet and once vader realized that they had done nothing to pursue the jedi he then asked them is king lee char dead to which the ninth sister responded with we don't know the king was swept away with the tidal wave same as with you same as with the others but the ninth sister again insisted it's not all bad they got king lee char to give them the jedi's location so they know exactly where to go again trying to be boastful and bragging that they not only saved Darth Vader's life at this moment, but they also know where the Jedi is. Furthermore, the Inquisitors barely survived the wave themselves. They lost two other clones. Once they pulled themselves together, they requisitioned the submarine and came looking for Darth Vader. They wanted to save him first. Vader was fuming at this moment. He sarcastically asked them why. The Emperor had assigned them a task. The task was not to come and save Darth Darth Vader, but to search out for the Jedi and eliminate him. The sixth brother responded with the most dumb answer ever at this moment, which Darth Vader did not want to hear again. The excuse that they first wanted to rescue Darth Vader. This was it. Vader had it. He called all of them fools. The mighty Sith Lord that was Darth Vader never needed to be rescued. He started chastising and scolding everybody there. He told them that their mission on Mount Cala is to find and kill this Jedi that is advising King Lee Char, not stand around and brag about saving him. The dumb ninth sister insisted that he is overreacting. They know where the Jedi is and they can go there now. But the ever scheming Darth Vader was again baffled by their foolishness. When King Lee Char regains consciousness, the first thing he will do to the Jedi is warn him to escape the grip of the Empire. They needed to move quickly before King Lee Char warns the Jedi and he told the Inquisitors to pray that King Lee Char is dead for their sakes. The comic goes on to be very spicy after the Quorn ultimately find King Lee Char and revive him. But that's a story for another time. For this video, I wanted to show how dumb at times were the Inquisitors and how they found the worst moments to brag to Darth Vader about how worthy they are. What did you guys think about this semi-confrontation between the Inquisitors and Darth Vader? Talk to me down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.